All right, Shalom. We'll start first by giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash. That's the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, the one you call God and ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Uh, double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. <clears throat> and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect, the house of David, those that will receive salvation. Shalom. Um, this is part two of uh the video that i was uh i did a part one to called uh confidence and i just want to bring uh a, a, another point to it I, I didn't have the time to do a whole long uh you know deserving time frame on it so i kind of chopped it down into two videos uh the first one being about um us as as the hopeful elect have to be confident that we're doing the things that the most high said that the elect would be doing, therefore have confidence, but not to make yourself of the number, but but to have confidence in what you do, and and have which, which will give you hope. So you you have an expectation that you can earn your salvation. You know you attend to those things and you do the best of your ability, and 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 he'll reward you. Have confidence that he's going to do it, and that's what leads to this part two. The Most High God Yahweh, he he said he's going to do it. Have confidence that he's going to perform it. Okay. You got to have confidence that what he said, he's going to perform it. All right. Matter of fact, before I even grab this, let me grab. I think I'm sure I pulled this in the last video, but it always is a good video because this is one of the bases of everything we're doing. Okay. This is Hebrews chapter 11, verse six. But without faith, it is impossible to please the most high God. You know, Um. let me see. Yeah, it's impossible to please the Most High God, okay? It says, um, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, that he is, that he exists, must believe Yahweh, okay? Must believe in the Most High God, that there's a higher power controlling everything, and he chose you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans and called you the Israelites, uh, you know, after you were Jacob. He, he named you the Israelites after himself, okay? Yasharala, the sons of God, the princes of the power, all right? And that he's going to perform everything he said according to his prophecy, okay? He would turn his back on us, and then he would turn around and, and redeem us through, through, through his only begotten son that will come out of our nation, okay? And then bring the whole kingdom back, the whole uh, uh, 12 tribes back. Okay, we have to fully believe that that's what it is. We have to have confidence in, in that fact. Okay, wholeheartedly, man. That's part of your faith. Okay, confidence and faith go hand in hand. All right. Uh, and then how do you how do you prove your faith with your works? How do you prove your confidence with your works? Okay, though you, you prove that by, by your actions. All right, that you believe you prove that with your actions. It says, um. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High God, Yahweh, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. If, you, if you're of the hopeful elect and you've been called into this thing, you have to do the things that approve your reward. Okay? Uh, yeah, he's going to put a lot of dangers and pitfalls and chastisement and all of those things before you. He's going to give you the um, furnace of affliction, temptation, all those things. But you have to prove faithful. Matter of fact, I think I'm going to do it this way. Yep, this will work this way. It says uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse uh, 13. There had no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. The things that, that men upon the earth uh, have to deal with according to temptation okay it says but the most high is faithful that's the point the most high god is faithful okay he did he, he didn't want none of us to perish that wasn't his intent when he created the law and he, and he set this all up this way it wasn't that the israelites should be destroyed and perish okay it was that we would live righteously but we had to go through the process the proper process of of, of, of properly learning how to judge and how to be a true uh, prince of the power. Okay? It says, uh, but the Most High God, Yahweh, is faithful 
who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear, that you will judge, learn to judge righteously, and that you'll be able to escape. And when you make those faith building decisions, you know, hey, that's the that's you should get confidence. Okay? You should gain confidence in that. All right. But anyway, so I'm I'm gonna go on to the lesson now. All right, I'm gonna start here at Second Edges chapter nine, then I'm gonna get into the blue blue letter Bible uh scriptures. It says, um matter of fact, I start at the top. It says, uh he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, what, what is that? He showed us prophecies. Those are the signs, right? Well, and why, why is he showing these, these prophecies? Because to prove and to build our faith that he is, that he's going to reward us according to what he said, okay? That he's going to do everything that he said, that he's faithful, okay? I'm going to keep my word. Okay, that I'm not going to utterly destroy the whole house of of, of, uh, of Israel, of Jacob. All right. It says, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. He said he was going to do this. Okay. It said, therefore, when thou there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And he spoke of those things and gave it to his chosen people that we would know the last days. Okay? That we would know when the last days are. All right? It says, um, for, for like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Even so, the times also of the highest have have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works and endings in effects and signs. He showed us these things because that's what he said he would do. So well, since we see these prophecies coming to pass, we have to have confidence that these good works that we're doing, according to the Most High, are going to help earn our, our salvation. That we have an opportunity to earn it. That we stay to the best of our ability. If we stay true to Yahweh Bashim Shai, he's going to reward us. We're being of the elect. We're getting salvation, escaping all the perils that, that are set before us. All right? So let's go over here into um, the Blue Letter Bible. I had uh, Job, the fourth chapter. I just All I put in was confidence, right? Job 4 and 6. Matter of fact, before I grab that, I did have another scripture first. Hold on. Come, come. So Leviticus 26 and 30, it says, this will break it all down, right? It says, and I will destroy your high places and cut down your images and cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of your idols. And my soul shall abhor you. You should detest us, okay? It says, and I will make your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries unto desolation. And I will not smell the savor of your sweet odors. I will bring the land into desolation and your enemies which dwell therein shall be astonished at it. Talking about the land of Israel. He's basically talking about uh, performing the destruction. Just like it said in Second he, he even from the beginning, you'll know that this is it, that he, that he said, even from the beginning, that he declared from the beginning. Okay, that this is now the end. Right? And, and you'll see because why? The things that he's talking about, he's throwing these, these things down. These strongholds, he's got a men of the Lord out there breaking down the strongholds. He's got uh, the prophecies coming to pass, just as he said he would. The Jake is destroyed. You so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, you're destroyed out in the world right now. You're wandering, thinking, acting like a, a damn heathen, man, not knowing who your who your who your God is. Okay, following after the ways of the damn devil, the so-called Edomite or the so-called white man, but the Edomites, according to the Bible. Okay, it says. And I will scatter you among the heathen and will draw out a sword after you. And that's what he's doing. We got our people scattered out in every nation upon the planet. We look like every other nation, but our father, but some of our, well, well, our father lines go back to the Israelites. Even though they're mingled amongst all the other nations, 
there's certain uh, people in those uh, nations that that farther line go back to the Israelites. They're gonna be joined back to the Israelites once once Yahweh comes back, since since Yahweh shy back. Okay, it says, and I will scatter you among the heathen, and will draw out a sword after you, and your land shall be desolate, and your cities waste. Then shall the land enjoy her Sabbaths as long as it lieth desolate, and ye shall be in your enemy's land. Even then shall the land rest and enjoy her Sabbaths. As long as it lie desolate, it shall rest, because it did not rest in your Sabbaths when ye dwelt upon it, because we was uh, perverting the Sabbath when we dwelt in our land. We weren't keeping it holy, okay? It says, and upon them that are left alive of you, I will send a faintness into the hearts in the land of their enemies, and the sound of a shaken leaf shall chase them, and they shall flee as fleeing from a sword, and they shall fall when none pursueth. And when shall excuse me, and, and they shall fall one upon another, as it were before the sword, when none pursueth, and ye shall have no power to stand before your enemies. And that's where we're at today. You go into the book of uh um uh, lamentations i believe it's the fourth the second chapter like the 15th verse they will wag the hand and gnash the teeth is this the city of perfection the the excellency of the, of the earth we have seen it race it race it you know we've seen the destruction of the israelites we have them in subjection that crafty counsel we took from psalms the 83rd chapter we have performed it okay and now and now the people are destroyed all right. Well, that's that's the most high said it, and it's now been executed. <clears throat> but also, where it said, "Well, we will not be called." Um, what's going on, Isaiah, the first chapter? Will we not be called uh, uh, the sons of the living power? There shall we be called the sons of the living God. Okay, but we're not not a people who say we are now the sons of the living God, and that's what's happening now. So he performed the destruction and turned his back onto our people. Right, letting us get destroyed by the heathen, not protecting us. Now he's coming back to dealing with us. Our punishment is over. He's coming back to dealing with us. Now we're going to be called the sons of the living God. Now, okay, it says, uh, verse 38 And ye shall perish among the heathen, and the land of your enemies shall eat you up. And they that are left of you shall pine away in their iniquity, and your enemies' land, in your enemies' land, and also. In the iniquity, iniquities of their fathers, they shall pine away with them. If they shall confess the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary to me, and I that, and that I have, excuse me, and that I also have walked contrary unto them, and have brought them into the land of their enemies, if then their uncircumcised hearts be humbled, and they then accept the punishment of their iniquity, which we're, we've done. We didn't have a choice in it, but we've accepted it. And now we, we, we repent from our wicked ways. We ask for forgiveness. Salaki Yahweh Shai and put those into our prayers, you know, for, 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 for all of our wickedness, you know. It says, then will I remember the covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. Will I remember, and I will remember the land. Okay, He gonna restore the covenant He made with us, with our forefathers, and put us back in the land. What land? The land of Israel. Okay, get them clear out all them dirty ass gutter rats that live over there now, with all their wicked ass ways. Clean that land up, and then put us back in there when it's ready. Okay, it says, the land also shall be left of them. And shall enjoy her Sabbaths, while she lieth desolate without them, and they shall accept the punishment of their iniquity, because even be, because even because they despise my judgments, and because their soul abhorred my statutes, and yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away, neither will I abhor them, to destroy them utterly, and to break my covenant with them, for I am. The Lord, their God. Okay? He's going to deal with us again. 
he's going to deal with us again on the on a righteous level. He's going to write his statute laws and commandments in our hearts so we won't go wrong, so we won't go off, so we won't be we won't sin anymore. Okay? But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen. That's the Sumerian account for you guys that didn't know. The, the Sumerian account accounted a lot of those things. The people of Sumer saw the, 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 the major events that the Most High God was doing upon the earth, and they put it into the Sumerian account. That's the only validity of the Sumerian account, that they, that they took a historical record of the things that was happening in the earth. Okay? It's not the book to be believed in. This is the book as a guide, talking about the Holy Bible, is the book of the guide for the Israelites. It's a guide of the Israelites to keep our statutes, laws, and commandments in there and how to how to deal with the earth and each other. Okay? And all that he did in our history is in it also. All right? Anyway, he said, um, but I will, for their sakes, remember the covenant of their ancestors, whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their power. I am the Lord Yahweh. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. So he said it way back then in the time of Moses, and he's executing just as he said all the way now. Okay? So if he's doing that, and we can see that he's doing that, because brothers are waking up, man, all over the, the earth to, the, to, to, to their nationality, to, to this Bible in the righteous way to, to, to see it in, the, in its proper spirit, okay? Not the way that the Roman Catholic Church and the Christianity and so on and so forth have put you to it, but the righteous way of it. We're seeing who the heathen are, particularly who the, who the damn devil the Bible speaks of is, okay? So everything the Most High said is happening so we can have confidence that he's going to execute everything that he said. All right, so now I'll get into this in the book of uh, Job, the fourth chapter, Job 4 and 6. Um, no, I think there was a little bit. No, I'm, I just want to go with this. Is not this thy fear, thy confidence, thy hope, and the uprightness of thy ways? I got to go into it because there's more right there. Uh-huh. Yep, it says, uh, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. If you did the things that the Most High said to do, he wouldn't forsake you, okay? He wouldn't forsake you if you did what he, what he told you to do. you got to have confidence in that. The fear that keeps you doing the things that he, that, he, that he told you to do will keep you innocent, man. And no one that was ever innocent perished, okay? All right, everybody that that that, that died in these in, in our history book was proof that that they made a mistake somewhere. Yeah, Hawashai, who was innocent and was without sin, he did something in his former life that he got punished for, and he had to take on the sins of all the people. Okay, so that was according to the word of the Most High prophecy. Okay, uh, it says um. And the uprightness of thy ways. He said, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, and where were the righteous cut off? Um, even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. You get what you sow. You reap what you sow is, is, is the worldly uh, phrase of that, okay? If you sow wickedness, guess what? You get the reward of wickedness, which is sin and death. If you do righteousness, you earn uh, salvation, okay? If you're chosen, right? That, but you're only going to uh, pursue and, and work uh, uh, righteousness if you were chosen anyway, all right? So we have to have confidence that, that, that the Most High is going to perform the things that he said, that he's doing it already, all right? So let me go back. All right. Says Job 18 and 4 said, His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. That wasn't the one I wanted. It shall bring him to the king of terror. That's not the one I wanted. Yeah, 31 and 24. I have made gold my hope, or have said to the fine gold, Thou art my confidence. That's the that's the mind state of the two thirds. 
that they had forsaken the Holy One of Israel and the, the, the fountains of living water and hewn out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Okay? Committing committing two evils. Pursuing that, that's from Jeremiah the second chapter. That's what our people have done. So, But you see the Most High, how he reacted. And he did what he said he was going to do and destroy our people when we acted that way. And he's performed it. Okay? So we have to believe that he's going to reward and perform the things of righteousness as he said. Because there is an elect. The scriptures clearly tell you about an elect. The 144,000 and the one-third. The one-third, you can go to Zechariah, the 13th chapter. Read that. And then the, uh, the, the 144,000 is uh, Revelation, is the 7th chapter. All right? It's right there. So there's people that have to fulfill that. You go to second Ezra, the second chapter. There's people that have to fulfill that. Uh, 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 Revelation, the 11th chapter. There's people that have to fulfill that. Okay? So we have to have confidence that, that if we continue to do the right things, matter of fact, I got a script real quick. Bear with me. Okay. Um, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. I'm going to start at verse 17. But what this is talking about wisdom. But wisdom is the breath of life. Wisdom is the light. Wisdom is how you earn your salvation by performing that. Wisdom is righteousness. Okay? This is how you earn your salvation through, through, through wisdom. All right? Doing the right thing and applying it the right way. All right? It says, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 6, verse 17. For the, tri the very true beginning of wisdom, her, is the desire of discipline. You got to know where your boundaries are. Discipline is knowing where your boundaries are. Okay, it says, and the care of discipline is love. The care of those boundaries and not being a habitual line stepper is love. Okay, love to who? If you love me, keep my commandments. This is the commandment ye have heard since the beginning. Pursuing the second John, the, the, uh, the, the, what's that, the fifth or sixth, seventh verse? I think it's the sixth verse. It says, um, and, the lo and love is the keeping of her laws. And giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High God. So you have to follow these things and be confident that when I do these things, I'm going to get a reward. And incorruption maketh us near unto the Most High God. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. I got another script right quick. Well, I'll read this. If your delight be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings, of the people honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Now bear with me one second. Okay, this is Matthew chapter 19, verse 27. It says, And then Peter, excuse me, then answered Peter and said unto him, talking about Yahweh Shai, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Like, what are we going to get for, for, for doing all this righteousness? You know, doing the right things that you say, believing the prophecies, believing what you say, keeping the laws. What, what are we getting out of this? What is this reward that we're going to get? He says, um, And Yahweh I said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, Ye shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. You're going to be uh, uh, leaders in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the government, so to speak, uh, of Israel, of, of a righteous kingdom of heaven. Okay, we're going to sit on high in a righteous kingdom of heaven, judging the 12, 12 tribes of Israel. All right. Now, let me go further down. Let's see. Yep. This is uh, Psalm 118 and 8. It is better to put in the Lord, excuse me, it is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh, than to put confidence in man. Okay, it is better to trust in the Lord, Yahweh, than to put confidence in princes. Okay, Proverbs 3 and 26, For the Lord, Yahweh, shall be thy confidence, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. He's going to protect you. He's going to hide you away in a strong tower. Okay? He's, going, he's got you in his hand that no man can pluck it out, okay? Because of the men of the Lord, the, 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 the elect are the ones that were that, that, that nobody can pluck out of his hand, like Job. Job is of the elect, man. He couldn't be touched. He got he got uh, uh, chastised and so on and so forth and tried, okay? But, but he proved faithful, okay? 
It says, um, let's see. Yep. Proverbs 14, 26. In the fear of the Lord, Yahweh is strong confidence. With that fear, you have strong confidence. What is the fear of? That you don't break his statute, laws, and commandments to the best of your ability. That you do what he said, what he, what he told us to do, what we agreed to do. All right? And his children shall have peace and refuge. Do we have that now? No, but but as uh, an hopeful elect, we do that so we can have peace and refuge. Okay? Uh, let's see. No, 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 I don't want that one. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I'm just freestyling going through this. Yeah. Isaiah 30 and 15. For thus said the Lord power Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest shall ye be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall your be your strength. Ye sh and ye would not. That would have, 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 have protected us and put us in a position to where we can rest and be safe. But we wouldn't do it. And you see what's come of that. We're destroyed today. But there's certain men that are waking up to this thing, that are that are that are doing their best, and that 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 are gonna have confidence to, to that they've done all to stand in that day, when the, when, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shows up, okay. Um, let's pull a few more, and then that'll be it. Um, let's see. Uh. uh no, no, I don't want that one. Bear with me. Uh, Acts 28 and 31. Preaching the kingdom of the Most High God and teaching those things which concern the Lord Yahweh Shai HaMashiach with all confidence, no man for, forbidding him. It's funny. Uh, I might post that. It was a video of a, of a poet. Uh, I think his name is Taylor Molly. Uh, um, I forgot, like like Sally like something. I forgot the name of the poem, but how these this generation uses the word like, like overused. Because they, they turn everything into a question or basically they don't make any definite statements. They they make uh, 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 statements of, of question that at end in like, well maybe to be you know so they don't offend anybody. So they don't take a strong stance on any point anywhere. And and that's not the men of the Lord. The men of the Lord take a strong, confident stance on what we believe. Okay? And that's what rubs the people wrong, that we're declaring the truth to you, whether you like it or not. And this is what it is. This is what the Bible says. If you don't believe in the Bible, then that's who, uh, what did Romans, the third chapter say? Um, what if some did not believe? Does it make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Okay? We believe it wholeheartedly, whether you believe it or not. And we will declare it unto you. Whether you believe it or not. And when it comes to pass, and lo, it will come, you will know there have been a prophet among you. Okay? And so we declare these things as truth unto you. Because we're watching the prophecy come to pass. We speak with confidence and we speak boldly. Okay? Um, let me see. Uh, let me find the scripts that I want. Yep. Here's what Paul said in 2 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, the 17th verse, that which I speak, I speak it not after the Lord, but as it were foolishly. In this confidence of boasting, we boast that we know the Lord. We boast that we have the truth. And how do we boast like that? We don't say, yeah, I got it, and you ain't got it. I'll tell you, hey, this is what it is. And we declare it unto people, unto our people. We declared unto the heathen, hey, this is what the Lord said your end is going to be. Okay? Um, yeah, this is the one I wanted. Ephesians, the third chapter, the 12th verse, it said, In whom we have boldness with access with confidence by the faith of him. Our faith is pushed out in confidence in our works. Okay, in, 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 in the athletic world, like I played basketball growing up, and, 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 and your confident the, the more confident you were, the the more your abilities seem to grow. But how do you build your confidence by putting the works in? I know I can make shots from here. 
I know I'm strong enough to do this. I know I can run this fast. I know I can jump this high, you know, because I put the work in to, to be able to do it. Okay, so now I can do this and, and declare it with confidence. All right? So same thing in this truth. We 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 stay to show ourselves approved. We continue to pray and fast. We 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 we, we do all the, the 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 works that are necessary. We we go out on the highways and hedges. We admonish the brotherhood. We 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 condemn the wicked. You know, all these things. We 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 break down the prof prophecies properly. Okay, we have the proper name. We do all the things necessary to have confidence when we speak this word. Okay. Um, there's another one in Ephesians that I like. Bear with me. Yeah, let me see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start at verse 19. It says, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 19. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, okay, for which I am an ambassador in bonds. What are we? What are we captive or in bonds to? Unto this truth, unto unto, unto performing this work, unto the spirit of pushing out the truth of of Yahweh Shimei Yahushai and the prophecies, okay, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, that I can declare unto you people. What the, the 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 spirit of the Holy Bible is, is saying into into the world, okay? Particularly the world of Israel, you, you so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Um. Yep, uh, Philippians one and twenty five, and having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all in your furtherance and joy of faith. Yeah, because we we when we around the brotherhood, we have confidence in each other. Hey, that that iron sharpeneth iron, you know. That 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 we build each other up. That this brother's got my best intentions for me, with me, as I have for him. All right. Um. And and seeing other brothers' videos, talking to other brothers, they give you ideas for lessons, other things to edify. You know, you learn and you put other pieces here a little and there a little to it. Brothers, you know, uh, you gather precepts from brothers. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. Philippians 3 and 3. For we are the circumcision which worship the Most High in the Spirit. And re most worship Yahweh in the Spirit. And rejoice in Yahweh Shai Mashiach or Yahweh Mashiach Yahweh Shai. And have no confidence in the flesh. We can't have our confidence in the flesh. The two thirds have their confidence in the flesh, into their emotions, into their to the to to what things feel like and see. We we're in the spirit, man. We gotta re remain in the spirit. Okay, remain in the spirit is understanding what to do in righteousness, using that wisdom that, that Most High uh, gives us through the Bible, through the Spirit, that we can use that in the world. As, as, as things arise in it. And things are easy now. But even when it comes down. To the to all hell breaking loose. Shit hitting the fan. We still have to, to walk in the spirit. And, ha and have that wisdom. Okay. Uh, quick quick precept. It says. And wisdom and knowledge. This is Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Why is it a treasure? Because it's gonna it's gonna keep you on a straight and narrow, so to speak. Okay, it's gonna keep you uh, stable when all hell's breaking loose. This wisdom, all right, and it's gonna ha give you the confidence to to call on the name and believe that he's gonna perform it. It's gonna uh, prove your faith. Okay, so let's uh, a couple more, and I'll close out if there's many more. Yeah. Um, I don't want that one. Yeah, yeah. Second Thessalonians chapter three, verse four. 
and we have confidence in the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, touching you, that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. That we're going to do the things that are of the Spirit, man. That we're going to guide you to do the right things according to the Spirit, and that you're going to perform those things with fear for Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, not of us, not of the heads or the, or, the, or, the, or the elders or the apostles, but because it's the right thing to do in the Spirit. Okay? It says, um, yep, uh, Philemon uh, 121, it says, uh, Having confidence in thy obedience, I wrote unto thee, knowing that thou wilt also do more than I say. You're going to do the things that the Spirit uh, reveals for him, for him to do, for you to do through righteousness, okay? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I gotta read that. Hebrews chapter 3. Yeah, probably a good chapter. It says, But Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, as a son over his house, whose house we are, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. The, if we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm to the end. How do we do that? By performing the works that are necessary to earn salvation. To keep that hope and rejoicing of that hope. To, to, to make it to the end. Okay? Because we know that Yahweh will not turn his back on us again. He did that. We're destroyed. Now he said he won't forsake us no more. Okay? That he's going he's gonna, to uh, reward us. Alright? We got to be firm in that. Um, for uh, Hebrews 3 and 14 for we are made partakers of Yahweh Shai if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end Hebrews 10 and 35 cast not away therefore your confidence that uh, so which have great recompense of reward what's that confidence that faith that hey we're doing the things that's necessary we have faith okay 1 John 2 and 28. And now, little children, abide with him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. I'm going to read it again. 1 John chapter 2, verse 28. And now, little children, abide in him. What? In the spirit. Okay? The spirit of Yahweh. That when he appear, how is he going to appear? He's going to crack the skies open and come with the clouds which are the, uh, and, 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 the, and the chairs of the Most High God. Okay? With the, holy, the host of the holy angels. Okay? When he shows up, we may have confidence that we've done all we can to stand. That, we, that we've that we done everything that, that, that we possibly could to earn our salvation. We, we gave diligence to make our calling and election sure. Okay? We study to show ourselves approved unto the Most High God, okay? And not be ashamed before him at his coming. Beloved, if our heart can condemn us not, then we have confidence toward the Most High. And this is 1 John 3 and 21. Matter of fact, I'm going to read that one one more in 1 John 2, and then I'm going to close out again, because that, that was actually a good point, and the time's getting away. It says, uh, 1 John 2 and 28, And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. So, Lord willing, you will edify, man. You know, we have to have confidence that Yahweh is and he is a rewarder of us that diligently seek him, man. That we're going to get the reward that he said he would give us. We're going to get the spiritual power. We're going to get the judge of 12 thron thrones of Israel, you know, sit on the 12 thrones, judging the tribes of Israel and the heathen. We're going to have the heathen for an inheritance. We're going to get to go back into our own land, and some of us are going to have uh, many mansions across the world, um, across the galaxy, okay? We're going to uh, 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 live in righteousness with the statute of law command written in our hearts, so on and so forth, okay? Blessings upon blessings, all right? So, so our Lord willingness was edifying, giving all praises and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. You that give your life and diligence 
in salvation, man. Have confidence that we're doing the right thing, and he's going to reward us, man. And keep up the work, man. Hold strong. With that, I say shalom.